Hey guys, what's up? It's Norris, and welcome to the Game Maker tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get into sprites and creating objects. So, the first thing you want to do is create a sprite. Now, you want to name it SPR and then the sprite name. If you don't name it like this um, when you're coding or uh, referencing off of an object, also name the same thing as a sprite. Um, the sprite, you would get confused between the sprite and the object. So if we name it SBI uh, short for sprite, or you, some people on there type in sprite underscore, but we can do SPI. And then we're going to do player. And then click edit sprite, and then click create new sprite, or if you type hit control N, then we want the width and height to be 32 by 32 pixels, is what I'm going to choose. This one, I'm just gonna fill in a black box. So this is like any editor in the world. So we can like choose the shape. Start with this. Don't know why it's transparent. Here, I'll get my fill tool. No tolerance. Hmm. And that choose. Okay, there we go. Go back to here. Alright. Oh, yeah, I gotta put it on the place. But, anyways, so this is gonna be our player. It's weird, I don't know why it's never done that to me before. I um I have Game Maker Master Collection, which means I could do a lot more than other, any other people. So if we come here to um objects or you can you can use this to create a sprite or you can use you can right click on this and create sprite or to create an object and right click this for object we'll create a uh, click on this ball. Then we'll type in OBJ short for object, and then player. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on SPR player, and then we want him to be visible. And this is our sprite, so we can, uh, do that. Then um, this is event, event and actions. Any time you type something that causes an action, that's an event, and then you get an action to it. So we want to add an event for the um, keyboard, or actually, let's do key press. We want to do key press uh, left, or you can come here and do WASDs, but I'm going to use these for today. We want to do press left, and then we want to go into the move tab right here, and then we want to click, um, we're going to right click on move fixed. Now we're going to move self, and then we're going to go into the direction of left, and this is how many pixels it moves. So we're going to move 8 pixels, and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to add another event for um, Q release of left. Then we're going to add another fixed movement, and then we want him, to, uh, the middle button is where he just stays where he's at, and then it's speed to zero. So, um, before we play the game, if you click on this, it says you must have at least one room to run. You can click up here, or you can right click here and create a room. A room is where you're going to be playing your game. It's where everything you have in the game is there. So we're going to place an object there, and then you can change the background color to, to like orange, green, um, and then all this I'll explain in a completely different tutorial later. Um, so once we got that, or actually if we go uh, back into our room, go to objects, if you click here, these will where your objects be. I'm going to click OK there. Where your objects be. So this is our object player, and that's where he's going to be once we run the game. 
it's going to take a second to load, um, load the game in the first try because it's got to load all its files and the way GameMaker works is um, it creates uh, you doing the drag and drop stuff it does the coding for you or you can do the code completely on your own but I'd rather do it by myself so we can actually move now all laggy because my computer is not the best but I'm getting a new one soon maybe so uh, you do the exact same things for these so we can just um, come here and add another key press for right and do uh, key release to right let's go up here move at the speed of 8 again key release right Okay. Now this is not the best way to move. The best way to move is actually um, somewhere where you do encoding. So we'll come into the game, and then we start moving around. See, and our background's good because we changed the background in the room. Neat. Then you do the same thing for up and down. Show you guys that real quick. Um, so add event, key press up, the event for key press down. Now this is not the most efficient way to do it. All right, now we got these. So we're gonna need to go to up. Get this at the speed of uh, eight, um, then down. At eight. All right. Come here. Remove fixed. Uh, right and here. So now when we run our game, we should be able to move in all f four directions. Now we're moving in two axes, so yeah, four uh, directions. Because you got X and Y. If we're doing a 3D game, which I might do, do a tutorial on later, definitely later on, um, then you'll do that. But for right now, we got ourselves a nice looking box. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. So that's all I'm going to show you today, and then if you can, guys can play around with that. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you something real quick. This is the game I'm making. Um, I have not actually named it yet. I think I'm going to name it like Zombie Slaughter or something like that. I think there's already a Zombie Slaughter out, most likely. So um, this is my wall sprites, and then my bullet sprite, and then my player. Uh, this is a game I'm actually going to release to the public once I'm actually finished and actually get it looking nice. Yeah, well, for right now it's got loud noises and bullets. It runs a lot faster when I'm actually not recording because it takes up my CPU. And uh, the um, zombies only spawn up here in this corner. I can see they only spawn right here in this corner. I got um, animation, my uh, player speed changes to where he's shooting, then we're creating, then I'm making him change uh, the angle, the direction he's looking at, by following the mouse cursor. So that's just something to uh, think about once we get into later. So this is Junora signing off, please comment, subscribe, and see you guys later, bye.